first 12 months? How good was that defense? You know, honestly, you know, you look at it on film. We did a lot of good things. Um, and they missed some shots. That's part of the league. Um, that, that, that goes hand in hand with your the quality of your defense. But uh, I was very impressed because we, we said going in, if we have to set the tone defensively, to give ourselves a chance. You know, we, 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 if we're relying solely on whether we make shots, uh, we're leaving it to chance. But let, let's at least give ourselves an opportunity. Um, we knew that the pace at which they, they were going to play, uh, understand the environment. You know, that place was like a playoff environment, which is great. 20,000 strong, you know, obviously didn't play their last season. So the excitement of, of, of them playing their first home game in roughly a year and a half, uh, you could feel it. It was palatable. So the fact that we could respond, we set the tone, it really speaks volumes of our group. When you play like that and it's the end of the first quarter and you're sitting in that bubble, could you get the sense that everything that you were talking about, they even bought in more? It's always a thing of validation when you have success doing, you know, what, what you're teaching, what you're preaching, and it works. Um, the next step for us is let's not get bored with it. You know, let's not get bored with success. Continue to do what got us where we were um, and build upon that. You know, I think that's, you know, it's you're fighting human nature, I guess, to take the foot off the gas a bit. But that's a, it's, it's got to be a priority for us. Were you surprised at how well they played defensively after the preseason, or did you expect them to come out and play? Uh, to a certain extent, I was, uh, you know, expecting it um, because we saw incremental improvement over those four preseason games. Not always the whole game, but you know, I think in stretches, we've talked about those stretches quite quite a bit and looked at it, uh, watched a ton of film on it, and so I think the guys understand. You know, let's clean up these areas. And it wasn't perfect. Our transition defense was still lacking. A lot of that was our turnovers, um, you know, finishing possessions with a rebound, give up 19 offensive rebounds. So it, it wasn't perfect, but we did do a lot of good things and, and did them, you know, uh, at critical, critical points of the, of the game. You guys did win the rebounding margin, though. Um, talk a little bit about that during the preseason course. Um, what do you think worked well for you? You mentioned the offseason, but what do you think worked well in the last season? Just the overall effort. You know, Kyle was great. You know, 15 uh, overall rebounds, which is a, a huge number. But, uh, you know, there were other team rebounds where you don't you, – no one gets it, but it's, you know, a gang rebound mentality where a small comes in late and taps it to a teammate. Those are those are plays that don't fall in the box score, but it, those count. So just that overall mindset, you know, you, you got to defend for the duration of the possession, not just the first 16 or 18 seconds. And how would you categorize the, the three-point defense? Obviously, you guys uh, didn't allow very many threes. You think you were forcing misses, or you were just missing? I think we were forcing our share of them. They they did miss probably some they ordinarily make, but we've changed you know coverages. You know we were down the floor a little bit more last night, um, up to touch at times. So just trying to keep them off balance, uh, so that there's not a steady rhythm of, as far as how we're guarding, and that takes that indecision makes it a little tougher for guards to make those reads. So now they're not just picking us apart. Um, you know, I think that's it's going to be good for us going forward. You guys have Indiana next. They, they've got a pretty big front court, a good front court. But just in terms of the size, um, with your big name popping out as a six man, you feel like it's you know, six eleven, seven forty. What, what do you think will be the key for you guys? Oh, uh, we got to be disciplined. I mean, those the, their bigs are dynamic, can play inside out, can shoot the three, um, and they're and they're both extremely physical. Um, so we got to be smart with our hands, you know, our body position. Uh, we got to be ahead of the play to give ourselves a chance. Um, ideally, want to try and play straight up as we can. We don't want to overhelp, but uh, if we have to bring help, we will. It's going to be a challenge for our front for our front court uh, to be able to defend those two. Coach, uh, what did you think of the ball movement on offense yesterday? In general, it was pretty good. Um, I thought we got a little careless at times. Uh, a lot of the turnovers were, you know, the live ball turnovers were preventable where we're just making auto passes. We're not quite as clean with our setups, our exchanges. Um, and uh, we, we got to do a better job screening to get guys open. And we, we've got to do a better job of owning our spots, you know, not letting teams push us out, uh, take us out of our first options. What do you think is the optimal balance now between getting immediate results and ongoing development? It's, con it's continual. You know, I think it, you know, you, it'll ebb and flow as the season goes where you'll see carryover, we'll see improvement uptick in certain areas and maybe slippage in others. 
So just trying to make sure that, you know, we're circling certain items and say, hey, this is a problem we're seeing, a pattern we're seeing, let's clean this up um, versus stressing the good. Uh, so I think it's, a, it's, it's ever evolving and it, it'll continue throughout the season. Mm -hmm. Neil? Hey, Coach, I guess generally, what did you guys uh, work on at practice today? Uh, we showed a lot of film. Um, you know, we, we got back a little later than we'd like. Uh, so instead of getting after today, it was more of a mental day. Um, a lot of film, clean up on the court, just, you know, working against some of the issues in the fourth quarter. Um, and then it's a get what you need day. You know, if you need treatment, you, you want to get extra shots, guys who didn't get a lot of minutes, get some conditioning. Um, but not, not too taxing at all. And then for the turnovers yesterday, I don't know if you've gone in depth and looked at it. Is it, you know, somewhat just, you know, first game jitters kind of trying to do a little bit too much or how did you assess those? I'm sure it's all, all of the above um, where you're also playing a very good defensive team. You know, it's got size, length, ability to switch. Um, they don't, they don't give you a lot of advantage. Um, they're very good loading, you know, against ISOs. Uh, so it, it just boils down to us making sure with uh, we're creating leads. Uh, we're good. We're clean with our setups. We got pace into our actions. If you're walking the ball up, you know, and now you're playing against the clock, you know, you, a team with length and size, you really put yourself at a disadvantage. Thanks coach. Christos. Uh, hello coach. Hope you're doing well. First of all, uh, Speaking about your defensive effort and the intensity on your defensive end, how big was the, the progress of your team from the precision games until the game in Toronto? It's been, uh, it, it's been better. Um, I think we, we've taken baby steps throughout the preseason, but it was nice to see at least, you know, the first three, three and a half quarters where, you know, we were pretty locked in. Uh, we saw some carryover in a lot of areas, you know, the, the, the issues still being the transition offensive rebounds. Uh, but overall, I thought we were better at the point of attack. We were better in our pick and roll coverage. We were pretty good in our uh, communication. So those are things we've harped on. And to see it happening, uh, you know, opening night was uh, terrific, terrific for our group. And you have 81 more games uh, of the regular season. What at would least. you like? To play? Yeah, at least. Right. What would you like to maintain in these 81 games of the regular season and the playoffs uh, after the, the regular season? Well, it'd be selfish to say, hey, we're going to hold every team to, you know, low 30s from the field, you know, low 20s from three. That's, that's unrealistic. Um, but I just think the overall effort, our, uh, our focus, our, our defensive energy was great. Um, we can rely on that. I think if we can do that. You know, obviously we'll make our share of shots. But we're not going to, you know, let our offense dictate our defense. You know, continue to lock in, make that a priority. I think it, it'll help win us a lot of games. Chris, hey, coach, uh, congrats on the win last night. Thank you. Uh, just want to ask about uh, bringing Denny off the bench first. Uh, was that something that uh, was was it was it was it because of matchups, or was it necessarily something you want to do moving forward? Uh, it's a little bit of both. You know, I think, you know, um, where he is condition wise, uh, he's still kind of ramping it up. So we'd be mindful of his, of his minutes. Um, so, you know, being careful and cautious as far as those stretches, not too being too long. Um, but it's also gives us an advantage. You know, he, he's got the size to switch. He's got the ability to contain. Um, he can be aggressive downhill player. So, you know, adding another ball uh, mover, um, a, uh, Secondary ball handler, especially out of pick and rolls, I think is good for that second group. Uh, so I think it's 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 a little bit of both. Uh, we'll see how the matchups uh, go, but I'm I'm not matching you know his minutes necessarily with anyone else's. Just trying to ramp him up incrementally to uh, to get a longer stretch. Obviously, a pretty exciting win for you guys last night. Just what are your takeaways from the first game with all these new players and the new coaching staff? Uh, I think the mentality and the uh, the way we compete, you know. Um, uh, we were able to, we've been talking about carrying over what we've been doing practice at a game, and, and we did that uh, on our first game. So I think that was great, um, but it's a long season. You know, we can't get too happy with one win. Uh, we got to keep doing our work. We got to keep trying to get better. Uh, but definitely the mentality and the way we compete was the, the, the biggest two things for me.
in the preseason, there were a few games where it made me wonder, like, is the defensive work uh, going to take a little time to show up? You know, of course, we're playing against New York. Did you kind of expect it to click in game one, or were you a little surprised at how well you guys played on that? Um, I mean, we wanted to, to, to be able to, to execute our defense as soon as possible. Um, and I think once we put the mindset, you know, in the preseason, sometimes guys are not uh, fully locked in or they're not 100% there because, you know, it's preseason, uh, it doesn't count whatever everybody has in their mind. But uh, I think uh, I think it was good. Um, of course, it's going to change between games. You know, people are going to see the way we play defense and going to try to do things where, where it's going to make it harder for us. But um, I think overall was was good. Um, I don't think I'm surprised. Um, I'm happy and more than surprised that we were able to execute and, and um, you know, do the, the adjustments we, we, we have on our defense. And, and, and like I said, I think it's, it's only going to get harder. You know, people are going to start watching us. People are going to uh, start seeing what we do and, and trying to uh, uh, make it harder for us. So, so uh, but to answer your questions, it's, it doesn't surprise me. Once again, you make a defensive play that has a lot of energy with it. You got Brad diving for a loose ball last night. But I want to specifically talk about the first 12 minutes of the game. That's championship-level defense that you guys play. That quarter was over with. You guys are like sitting there in the huddle. Was there a moment where Coach Blesso said, see what I told you guys? If you do this, this is what we could do um, all season long. Kind of what was the conversation after that, that quarter was over? No, I think uh, – um... It's crazy because uh, as good as we play the defense, we were always talking about how we can get better, how we could improve something, you know, even though we played great defense, we were talking about the couple of plays that maybe we didn't rotate or we, I don't know, we didn't talk. So um, it doesn't, I mean, we play great, but we are always trying to get better. So we never had that conversation like, you know, like we did it, like we, we're playing great because it's the first game in the season and, and there's still a long way to go uh, to where we, we want to be. Um, but uh, I think we are just focused. Uh, of course, we are like hyped up with the way we played the, the first 12 minutes. We're like, whoa, we are we're actually good. You know, <laughs> like we I don't think we showed that in the preseason and having that feeling as a team, it, it's great. And it gives us, you know, uh, more energy to keep it going. You know how it is to play in Toronto. And that was the first time they had fans in there since the pandemic. So was that really a key to jump on them early, kind of to take their crowd out of it? Yeah, we talked about it um, in the locker room and we talked about it in the huddle like right before when they were doing this 10, 15 minutes uh, intro. Uh, you know, we were like, you know, we ready to go. Let, let's go. We uh, we can't let this affect us of how we start the game. So we we talked about it. I think we got a, a team with um, enough ears to not let those those things affect us the way we play, you know. And uh, and like I said, we did a good job on 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 starting the game with energy. We know that when you're playing there, if if you if you let them, you know, start the game well, or if you let them get their their crowd going, it just makes makes it harder for you. So um, we we talked about it and we we executed. Um, as far as like my role on the team, yeah. Um, you know, I think uh, as right now, it is what it is. You know, like I played the twenty minutes. I know games. There are gonna be games I'll play more. There are gonna be games I play less. There are gonna be games we're gonna need more guys uh, coming out of the bench, but. I think um, things change. It's a it's a too long of a season to to have those the same guys playing the same minutes and have the same role on, on the on the team. But um, you know, like I, I've always say, my mentality is it's not really to think about how much I'm gonna play or how how much the the time I'm gonna have on the court. It's just when I get in there, I'm gonna try to make plays. I'm gonna try to to give all I have, you know, defensively and give the team energy because that's. I mean, more than how much I'm going to play, that's my role, you know, just coming from the bench and, and bringing that energy and bringing that uh, um, competitiveness that, that I have it on me. What did you like about your guys' three-point defense? You guys took it as a team effort and then three-point shots. 
Um, I think being being uh, uh, high on the screen, you know, uh, that takes some of the pull ups, pull up threes that a lot of guards are shooting nowadays in the in the league. Um, also the rotation, I think being locked in and knowing that, okay, I'm going to rotate to this guy and, um, being, being on top of them and not letting them shoot easy threes, you know, contesting all those shots. I think that was, that was huge. That's, I think that's more as a mentality of playing hard and knowing personnel, knowing who I'm closing out to and making sure that, uh, we try to get away uh, the three point shooters they have, you know, not let them shoot easy, easy threes. I think, uh, I think we did a good job. And uh, like I said, we just got to keep doing it and, and get better. Christos? Hey, Raul, hope you're doing well. You said before that you always want to get better, especially on defense. So, what would you like to, to improve on your defensive effort about the intensity, about the approach? And how productive is the second unit? Because you are one of the part of the second unit. How productive, how more productive you're going to be this season? Um, I think uh, defensively is um, just getting used to the rotations and getting used to uh, the game plans and talking. I think those are things that you, I feel like you can always improve. You know, there's always a player or two in the game that uh, you were second late or uh, you rotate to the wrong guy. I think those little details is something that um, that we can all get better. Um, I think as far as as far as intensity, as far as heart, I think uh, I've I've always give everything. So uh, there's nothing there. But um, and then I think from the second unit, uh, like I I just said before, I think the roles are gonna change during the season. Um, we we know that. Uh, a bench has to come into the game and not let the other team go on a run or hold a lead or um, bring more energy. So I think that's something that I always have in my mind when I'm coming from the bench and I try to push from the other guys too. You know, when I see Danny coming with me and I try to talk to him and say, hey, Danny, locked in. We, we got to uh, keep going. We got to bring the energy up. You know, uh, I think those things you got to have in mind when you're coming from the bench.